So today I sort of wanted to give you a look at uh, my file server slash storage server, media server, or whatever you want to call it. Um, as you can see it is right there. I currently have about 20 terabytes of internal disk space in it. Uh, if you want to go, just go ahead and have a scatter look over it. It's not exactly cable managed nicely, but it's just there to hold drives, pretty much. So, we'll take you briefly over the specs here. Uh, currently it has a AMD Athlon X4640 processor in it, 3 GHz. That's a stock quad core. I usually have this 6 core right here in it, but it currently needs to be repaired for bent pins. Um, one of my mates can do that. Uh, it's got 8GB of RAM in it, just uh, regular Kingston HyperX 1600MHz DDR3 RAM, so 4 sticks of 2GB each. Two gig each. Uh, it's got Windows 7 on it, sort of, if you want to scan over here, you can see total drive size, 20,492GB of internal drives, and then you can sort of like see all my space there and all my arrays and stuff. Okay, you can see I've also got over in there, so I've got my CPU up there as well as RAM. I've got a 6870 in there as well. It's sort of just in there mainly for HDMI. You know, I've got the card lying around, might as well use it. Uh, what else have I got in here? I've got a ASRock SATA 3 uh, card in there. That holds two drives. I did an unboxing of that quite a while ago. I've got my four port SATA 3 LSI RAID card in here. I've also got a sound card in there. I've got quad gigabit connectivity, that's a HP controller, it's a regular uh, 4x slot, and of course my graphics which I just mentioned, I've got a 650 watt power supply in there, that'll be changed out soon. Uh, if you want to have a look at the front, stand up here, so if you want to come around here cameraman, see currently in there, I've got all my two terabytes in there, these are all hot swap. Well, you can you can change them out when you need to. They're not actual hot swap drives, but they're all two terabytes. I've got another three two terabytes in here, and I've got four one point five terabytes down here in this cooler master bay. Those are all rated, so that's a six terabyte array. And then I've got all these other two terabytes, which I just mentioned. Okay, so all AMD powered and stuff like that. Uh, major changes I need to do with this is my one point five terabyte array by four drives down here needs to be swapped out to three terabyte drives uh, probably about just two for now just to replace the entire array they're, they're like $1.99 each now for Hitachi 5k 3000 branded drives yeah that's about right because uh, unfortunately they've got bad sectors on one of the drives and it's a seat 8 so I don't know, you can't really expect much about that you can see all in there my hot swap bay and that seems to be, with this case, it seems to be these bays are actually excessively long, like you, you can see that, and it's already sticking out the front. You can sort of like see right under there, you can sort of see that with my fingers, it's sticking out quite a fair bit. Because if you see here, unfortunately, not the torch here, that's handy, uh, it would start knocking into the other cables back there, and I wouldn't have cable management holes or anything, it all gets blocked up. I actually have two of these hot swap bays and I would have put another one here but see back there is where the SATA ports are coming out of the motherboard and they are right angled so it's kind of really tight to work with so I'm just working with this for now until I get a larger case. Um, I don't know what type yet but I'm sort of still in the process. This is sort of a first starters file server system for myself of 20 terabytes. I'm sort of trying to get the aims of about 60 or 80 terabytes worth hopefully if not more so I have a lot of storage but uh, this is good for starters it's pretty much all I need just been changing out a lot of things recently trying to get everything working if you come around the back here you can see my quad gigabit card in there it's all nice we're all trying to change out to 10 gigabit copper cards so you just have the single cable but I've got this for now so it's all good you can see my RAID card idling there all that good stuff. Uh, motherboard I unboxed a while ago. I believe that video still needs to be uploaded. That is a, you can see there, Gigabyte GA990FXA UD3 motherboard. 
and of course 64-bit operating system on that as well. But uh, yeah, that seems to be pretty much it for my file server. So thanks for watching, and uh, I guess I can throw some pics up on Facebook of this as well. So that's facebook.com slash Jacob's PC stuff. So that should all be good, and make sure to remember to subscribe.